Kia ora e te whānau. Comfort challenge number four. Um, terrible twos. Just say no. <laughs> um, I think like I struggle lots saying no. And instead I try to propose other solutions. Or I feel like I have to explain myself before I say no. Um, but like possibly an example of that is the other day there was a person who I haven't spoken to for a while who tried to um, come over and hang out and my instant answer was no. Um, mostly because my boundaries that I had set around the presence of that person in my life was that no, it wasn't going to happen anymore. Um, and so the person tried three times still um, to come over and hang and every time it was a solid no and the no came like from my internal knowing um, but it was still like I had to explain myself to that person. Um, so it's like quite an interesting challenge, this challenge. Um, in terms of like being able to say no to my children, I can't, they have babies, so the demand is there and that's my responsibility. But also I think like I have a little trauma around no because I heard no all the time. Um, or, or not all the time, but lots growing up, which kind of like possibly um, brings the discomfort around the word. Or like the notion of it itself um, but also understanding that it's okay to say no um, I also had a girl who said she felt pressured into something um, and she was like well it's not like I can say no and I was like well actually no is always an option um, and interesting how we can tell everyone else that no is always an option and then we can sit there and be like struggle to say no Stop being a yes sayer. Um, so yeah, that's probably a bit of experience, and I know that I'm going to have experience in the future. I mean, it's like, you know, just being comfortable with the fact that actually I can't turn up, I can't show up today, like, and I'm just not showing up. Come on, great, correct. All right, kakahe to iwi. No is always an option. Kahol challenge number four. Terrible twos. Interesting concept, even terrible twos. I struggle with that term as well. Anyway, he called it one or tera. Pomarie. Oh, no, not Pomarie yet. Number five is coming up very soon.